thank you for speaking with me today, Mabu and Lithi. Um, you're going to talk a bit about your involvement in Documenta. And I thought we could just start uh, with you doing a brief introduction to Brito um, and the work that you've been doing there. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am Tayeba Begum Lipi. I'm an artist myself. And I am um, a co-founder of Brito Arts Trust. Um, and trustee as well. So, Mabu, do you want to introduce yourself first? Yeah, I'm Mahu Raman. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an artist and uh, I'm also co-founder of Bitto uh, Art Trust. And yeah, so... So we started Bitto in 2002, uh, which is almost um, 20 years ago. And um, it's an artist collective, and we are six trustees and um, around 20 members. Uh, but um, we usually work with a lot of artists, you know, the try to uh, widen our ecosystem and all. So it's not that only the members and trustees are working for the organization. I mean, we are working for the organization, but um, all our programs are done with uh, many other artists so involving from um, Bangladesh um, you know the, across the country and then um, international artists also and we usually do residencies workshops and large-scale uh, projects um, yeah. mm -hmm. and we are based in Dhaka Bangladesh yeah, then uh, when we started Bito, it was, you know, more like a, we need a platform to exercise, you know, right after our education. So the Bito's practice are more like, a, you know, the kind of alternative educational method. And, uh, you know, the Fine Art Institute, are they have kind of uh, curriculum and their uh, teaching method is different. And, uh, in the institute, they don't have a... Uh, many uh, uh, medium which is uh, now uh, contemporary artists are using like you know uh, new media kind of things photography or like uh, other installation based work so uh, so our education system is more like a uh, mainstream so the Brito uh, bring a kind of thought or the practice, uh, contemporary art practice. Uh, yeah the contemporary art practice because uh, uh, from the beginning we always uh, uh, try to encourage like you know the from uh, younger generation but you know the uh, we also work, uh, make a lot of project uh, that time with the student so a student got a different uh, thought process about art and they they keep practice in a different direction so it might uh, help uh, it it helps for their, uh, you know, the education uh, uh, process, and at the same time, after the, you know, the uh, education, they also got a uh, wider range of art practice uh, uh, ideas. It's more like uh, Brito is working as a catalyst um, in the country, especially to uh, develop uh, the contemporary art practice. Yeah, that time it's more like, you know, Bito was the only one platform where artists can uh, experiment. But now there's a lot of collective coming up yeah. and a lot of, uh, you know, larger institute or, or organization are uh, interested about uh, uh, to give a space to artists to experiment uh, different mediums in different way. And we are... Um we were fortunate to be part of Triangle Network. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Lo uh, Robert Loder gave us a lot of uh, thought and uh, process to develop ourselves because uh, he he always say uh, he always he always uh, said uh, I'm a postman. So I really like that word like I'm a postman. So he was posting us here and there, and he, he was posting the other artists to uh, us also. So that is the 
kind of exchange uh, practice you know the like uh, there is a kind of another uh, learning process no while people are coming from other part of the world and uh, with a different uh, thought process and the practice and culture so when they come they they learn a lot because they got another uh, you know the uh, book or you know uh, educational process or knowledge uh, sharing process and we also uh, uh, gather a knowledge from those arts so that is kind of an uh, uh, interesting methodology to develop an uh, artist thought process. And also, uh, like, uh, uh, being part of a greater uh, network, mm -hmm. like bigger network. And we didn't have idea of, uh, like, artist network before mm -hmm. this. So, yeah. And, yeah, that's, and really that's important. quite uh, important because of, you know, the... Uh, during that time, it was really tough. You know? uh, it wasn't accessible, the internet. Uh, so, and, uh, and it's more like a, the connectivity. You know? I mean, the, uh, we are, that time we are a bit young and uh, we didn't have that much uh, mobility and exchange uh, practice. Uh, although we, we, we have uh, one big event, like Asia not being a lot of artists are coming and you know that was the only only uh, you know source to get the international connection but uh, uh, through triangle network we got a more international connection and uh, it was a um, uh, very uh, very easy access to get the artists from abroad and it was very organic also mm. yeah. yeah from the beginning it was very organic it was not like a very formal formal kind of uh, and that network. that practice also kind of like you know you, you, uh, you know that uh, artists and their behave while they come to another platform and they they also uh, it's like like-minded people are traveling here and there so this um this way of working within networks and around the ideas of international exchange probably uh, leads quite smoothly in some ways into this idea of your your collaboration as part of documenta um, and maybe you could talk a bit more about how this came about. Yeah, uh, as the network, like, you know, through the um, triangle network, we got to know each other, you know, from different, different part of uh, uh, an institute or uh, alternative uh, space or a collective. So we, we are, we, and the, you know, this time, uh, Documenta, uh, 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 document has uh, uh, they take uh, uh, not individual curator or artistic director they took a uh, they took a collective. the collective the collective is it's not like in a collective itself is individual but uh, that individual uh, form with the different particles like a different uh, energy like a different uh, uh, many artists some artist so the thought uh, the collective thought coming from different different thought different individual thought come together and make a, another individual uh, thought so it it gives a kind of different uh, um, different way to think to make the event in a different uh, you know, uh, presence like you know before the, the I guess so far this is the only the first uh, uh, first time they are uh, they have invited, invited uh, uh, collective uh, so this is also the uh, so far we got uh, got to know about documenta through uh, many uh, their archive and other uh, uh, people who saw all the documenta so they all they say that every documenta has a different uh, different pro th uh, work process. So this time also they bring a another uh, another uh, thought process in uh, in documenta. Yes, sir, I think it's a kind of experimentation also. Mm -hmm. Trusting um, a collective to lead the whole thing is not uh, like a simple thing. Like mm -hmm. it's. Um, because of course, if you are um, asking the collective uh, to um, to curate the whole thing, especially 
in a, an event like documenta, then uh, you must have some other thought that it, it will be uh, different than any other uh, documenta that happened in past. So, um, yeah, we, we knew each other like Rangarupa also for many years and they have experience uh, doing some projects like Sonspeak or uh, in Taiwan, they did a Taiwan Asian, Benale also, Ishinar Benale. Um, so, um, they had a journey actually. Although they are not a very, very old organization, they have started in 2001. But I think the whole team has a kind of energy and uh, they have that kind of collective sharings that they can do um, the, this uh, big event as well. But it's not only Rangarupa, there are like you know, a lot of other organizations also involved with the whole process, uh, including the document I main um, team. So, uh, which is like a, a you know, permanent team or something. Like they are there for many years. Um, so, um, yeah, but we are enjoying the whole process also because it's, uh, it's really related to our uh, thought process and very much... Um, it's a similar yeah. concept. Uh, yeah. This time the documenta has a uh, kind of concept and that concept, uh, concept also fitted with our concept because uh, you know the collective how the collective are performing and uh, you know the uh, like uh, or maybe we can say that our our concept or our ideas fitted into the idea yeah it's very uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, like a previous time like a one uh, curator they they uh, they put a uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, assistant curator so this time, actually, the it, it, uh, the 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 way the very organic way, the collective picking up another collective, so that collective also uh, some kind of performing as a uh, uh, curator because for their individual their separate project from the different collective, so like our project, we are uh, we we just trying to avoid the individual. Uh, representation so the all the project are co uh, collaborative there's a lot of artists studying this it's not like a uh, one-man show or this kind of thing like a artist representation it's more like a the energy representing you know the many artists are getting engaged and they are uh, having a very good time in uh, this. And we try to follow the ecosystem also yeah. so we wanted to uh, develop that one and uh, I mean, uh, if you go through uh, like all these uh, large um, exhibitions in the world, you will see small like like uh, star artists are there. Mm. So we have also done uh, Venice Biennale in 2011. That was the first uh, ever uh, participation from Bangladesh. Uh, but um, that time also we did not think. Um, uh, I mean, Venice Biennale is completely different than Documenta. And but here we, can, we, 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 uh, that time we didn't think to take the project. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. it's not like a, that time there is like individual Not artist, collective project. Not it was collective. more like, you know, the As individual artist. Curating, the yeah. individual yeah. curating. Of course, there is a curator also. Hmm. So there is a kind of conventional methodology we followed. And this time we consciously, I, I think like the a thing, couple yeah. of, my two, three years, we are trying to avoid the, uh, individual uh, ownership. Uh, so, Brito, uh, last few project we are making. These are the ownership uh, came to Brito. So, Brito become a, like you know the owner, like you know the person. So, we we all the working for that energy. So that and energy. also like um, the artist, um, all the artists like it's an artist collective. All the artists have their own um, work process and they have their individual life. Mm. They have their individual pieces. Even like uh, for me or for Mabub, you know, we have our own uh, thought process, own lifestyle with our own work. That is the different kind of uh, practice. But when we uh, think about uh, Brito, 
um, what Mahbub said like uh, over the last few years. We just thought about Dritto is a collective. So we must think about like focusing on the collective process, collective energy, collect, collect, collective uh, uh, ideas, uh, and then uh, try to like uh, gather the whole thing at one place. And then, um, then uh, the ownership don't go to any individuals. It should go to an organization. So whatever we are uh, like doing uh, on behalf of Brito, uh, especially the members and trustees, because everybody is artist here. So we consciously were focusing on that collective uh, ideas. Um, so it's always a pro one project with one concept and everybody is giving inputs in it or everybody is participating in it. I mean, uh, it's not that you have to, uh, we are forcing anyone to participate. If you are interested, you come. If you are not interested, it's okay. So this is how it's working. And the seed idea coming from, you know, maybe individual, hmm. but... Uh, but uh, mostly that, Mabu and me, actually, we... Uh, yeah, the, uh, but that growing, you know, that, uh, uh, the growth we try to share, you know, the, and uh, there is, there is a, you can see the individual effort, but uh, wh while we put them together, it, it, it's turned, turned as a different look, different presence. So, yeah, the, even a, in Documenta, like you know, we uh, the project actually uh, coming through the very eco, uh, uh, in the ecosystem. Like you know, the while we are we have, we had a lot of uh, interview with the uh, Rangurupa artistic team and then other organization to you know uh, get uh, the you know the get the opportunity to take part of uh, the document at this time. So that time there is a lot of. Uh, you know, kind of brainstorming uh, uh, meeting, I would say. It's like a, we just open up uh, our idea because there's a lot of question coming from different angle which you, we never thought before. So that question give us a you know, kind of direction to pick up the, our uh, previous project, like, you know, previous, like we, we are doing most of the project. Yeah, and also project. like to realize the, um, idea that we applied so um, when you uh, when there are questions when you are answerable and you need to answer those questions um, then automatically uh, your idea um, grows better it uh, you can give a better shape when there are more questions because then you try to be clear about your own idea like, uh, because those questions maybe never come to your mind if someone yeah, else is was, not asking. It was, maybe it was in our subconscious mind. Yeah, yeah. But it, it wasn't, you know, rec uh, we, uh, understand uh, why we did that thing and what is the relationship of what happened while we were doing that project, what was our uh, intention and, the, you know, the lifestyle, social structure, political situation. And geographical or you know the uh, natural. Uh, I think she things. has got questions. Also. <laughs> we are <laughs> telling <laughs> everything before you are asking. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying so. So you're saying that the, the process, um, the process of that kind of selection for documented, they were asking you to kind of reflect on the the projects that you had already done. And that made you think about them with more within the the way the kind of frame of documenta is that what you're you're saying and the kind of themes that were coming out of um uh Ruan Grupa's kind of interest um yeah but uh, uh, the way we started actually um when we started this conversation we did not have any plan for documenta, right? We we were talking about our own projects that we have already done, especially the uh, when yeah. Ade um, called us for the first time, we uh, were so excited about our uh, 
Zero waste food. Yeah, yeah, our project that was uh, ongoing that time, mm -hmm. like um, zero waste food art. And um, because we were so involved with that uh, project that during that time. Uh, so uh, uh, it was, I think, from March when the pandemic started, we started the um, idea to develop. And then we talked to the artist. And then we invited uh, them to join. Um, so during that time when Ade had questions about like what you guys are doing during the pandemic. So we had the story to tell. So it was very exciting for both of us, the both sides. Like, you know, we were excited to tell and he was excited to take. So there were a lot of like conversations coming up um, every time we were talking. And then he started asking more questions. And it was not only him, there was like uh, more team, uh, team members. So we did not through, yeah, get through it also from uh, our collaboratory and then uh, the team members from um, Documenta and team members from Rangrupa and we were not quite sure you know why they are asking, why they are taking our interviews, why they are interested about Brito because we had no idea about what they are going to do for Documenta. Even the question, the conversation was uh, more focused on sustainability. So how the collective uh, can sustain or you know, run their ideas because uh, collective uh, is a kind of energy which give you the uh, kind of uh, like you know the uh, learning process or practicing process that the individual if you see the how the individual are coming up to the wider range uh, platform they all come from somehow in a collective or collective. Method or process or uh, getting the opportunity through the different organization or collective. So, so that's why the the, the small platform is quite important, and uh, we need to, you know, the uh, give a support uh, to exist those small platform. So that was a kind of long conversation. Yeah, How and it was kind of co coincidence actually. Mm -hmm. Because we did not know about um, their concept, uh, so we were talking about our concept only, yeah. and they were interested to know more about us. So, <clears throat> and uh, we were happy to share actually everything we did before, especially you know uh, over the last few years, our also thought process has changed. So uh, we already mentioned that we were thinking in a different way. Because it's already like it's almost like 20 years, and then what is next? And you know, why why should we stand? So uh, I think they were very interested to learn more about that, and that made us uh, think about our own projects and like made us clear about our own thing. So I think it was kind of like you know many uh, meetings we have done yeah. before we know that we are uh, taking part of it. And then in the end of the day, I think it was uh, last September, they first told us that they would like to invite us to participate. They, they, they asked us uh, if, if we, we are, are interested <laughs> about uh, to take part of the Lumbung. Yeah, the Lumbung, uh, Lumbung interlocal. Is interlocal. Lumbung is an Indonesian uh, word that comes... Uh, uh, rice, uh, rice. Yeah, yeah, in English it could be uh, rice born. So it's more like a storage for rice. That means the storage for food. So where uh, this food is not food, but it's like sharing ideas and knowledge in one place and then use it. Like if you don't want to use that one, somebody else can take it from you. So that kind of sharing uh, space that also we were thinking about, like even our zero is fooder, the way we started is the same process, like how we were sharing our ideas in one bucket and then you know that uh, the project was developing uh, on its own way. So maybe you could um, talk a little bit about the the projects that you were developing for presentation at Documenta. Um, for Documenta, um, we uh, since we worked with uh, like you know food and um, for dear West food art. Um, Food was somehow stuck in our head. 
and we thought about like we try to dig out why and uh, then um, we were talking about it but we did not maybe um, give a kind of like um, we did not uh, visualize the whole thing before so when we started um, the new conversation then we started visualizing things and um, then we thought about like why food we realized that the food is coming from for many regions because um, in bangladesh also we had famine and when we had partition when we had our freedom fighting um, there were lots of ups and downs in uh, in this land even when the britishers were here that time also so we actually we were we are carrying a long history of um, food politics so that gave us a, a new narratives like you know that uh, we can think about because uh, the politics of food uh, is part of the you know the ups and downs of the whole world and it is still there um there are like um maybe war in one place and then um you know we just found that uh, trump uh, said yeah, that in uh, yemen yemen uh, uh, he uh, stopped sending any food there uh, and everybody was the block the last uh, the, last yeah. excess to get in the yeah. uh, yemen and people are children people are dying, children are dying and, and, and starving. people are starving so that kind mm. of um you know forceful activities are there even the recent uh, movement the farmer movement in delhi delhi right yeah, yeah. that's also the kind of yeah that's also during the pandemic mm. so all these things came to our mind and we thought about like um okay so why not we develop the idea that can uh, translate um in document uh, 15 from our part um so that's how we um uh we have divided the whole project in uh, five different um, visualization i would say and um, one is um, creating the objects making a supermarket uh, so it can be um, it is a hybrid supermarket of course and um, the sculptures are also very small uh, they are not big sculptures and the, all the works there will be many hundred works there and all the works are related to uh, somehow food and drinks and all these things and uh, we went through actually a lot of information and films as well that are related to food politics and then the present situation of uh, toxication and all these things in the all over the world which is uh, which has been become a, a, a big issue uh, health issues also especially in our part of world because nobody is checking about what is in those food or drinks or fruits uh, we are eating uh, maybe poison every day so and we found that this is controlled by actually only few organization uh, very very you know mega kind of organizations uh, from the first world um, and nobody can escape uh, the controls that they have been uh, creating the whole uh, over the you know the years uh, in the whole world so um so then this um, supermarket and we are creating a organic garden there in um, outside of uh, document hale uh, by the way the whole project will take place at document hale so um if outside and inside so huh? outside, outside and, and inside yeah so um um outside of the document hale there is this um uh, nice landscape mm. which is a bit uh, you know which it's has a park uh, part yeah, of it's the park a, yeah it's just Uh, starting point of the park so we are creating um, an organic garden um, there uh, collaborating with um, uh, two i think two organic gardens from castle 
uh, we have already met one and then the production team is meeting the other one and uh, we have brought uh, uh, 20 different seats from Bangladesh and uh, we are going to borrow the seats from Germany so it will be kind of uh, like uh, uh, you know the vegetables from both uh, both the countries and in the middle of that uh, organic garden um, we call it in Bangla Palang the organic garden which is Palang is a very like local word for the um, home like uh, when you have the kitchen and next to the kitchen you just throw some seeds and you get the uh, organic um, vegetables, vegetables from there leaves. Uh, and the leaves that you can just take uh, uh, you know from the um, garden and then use it for your food uh, so um, we developed the idea from there. We saw so our even, parents even when we were family members. Also, uh, uh, partly they use for uh, for the kitchen or they they eat, and some and part also they are selling right. to get. And yeah. that uh, practice uh, done by most of the time, mostly the uh, women. Right? Yeah, yes, women like from the home, and. Um, the object market, the supermarket in Bangla, we call it Roshad. Roshad means like a um, storage uh, for um, for okay. ideas, surely. When uh, you have different kind of ideas, you put them together, so that becomes a Roshad. Um, so if you, anyone can take out uh, the idea from there. So. Um, and then um, in the middle of that organic garden, we are creating a um, kitchen. We call it in Bangla, we call it Pakghar. It's a very local word uh, for kitchen. And um, in Bangladeshi culture, we never had like living room before. In countryside, you, you won't get living rooms. So instead of living room, you actually chat with the family in your kitchen. So the kitchen is very, um, you know, kind of raw with the raw material and all this. It's not like gas uh, cylinder or something. Nowadays there are, but you know, once upon a time there was no. And in the villages actually, in the remote areas, they are still they, they are still using, they are using the, the timbers, similar kind of timber, timber and all this uh, old-fashioned um, branches. Yeah, um, burners yeah. um, made out of clays. And then there, there will be like um, uh, a small space for sitting space for the other family members to join and then they can chat over there, they come with their own problems or whatever. Even the neighborhood, uh, neighborhood yeah, they are the neighbors coming, are coming and, and they are chatting, it's like a um, chatting space, sharing a space, you know. So um, you are eating, you are testing the food and you are also sharing your own thoughts there. Uh, so, um, we, uh, from that concept, we are making our own paghar, uh, made out of bamboo and clay, uh, in um, uh, documenter, and then um, it will be, a, a, I think, quite a big structure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there will be sitting the space is also. very big, and yeah. we'll, uh, we have a plan to, uh, you know, make a more you know kind of the space while people get in they will be totally isolated you know, the, you know so for this, this kitchen we are actually inviting it's for 100 days the whole exhibition so we are inviting 100 nationalities from to cook castle. over there from castle Even it can be from castle and the lumbung members, Lumbung members, members as well. so we are inviting the participants and the you know the working with the immigrants uh, from castle you know food is like related to all this displacement mm -hmm. immigration um, so when you leave uh, like even for me like I was in that small village now I am in mega city but I carry the test with me mm -hmm. the memory the stories um, uh, of my mother or my grandmother or my uh, sister-in-laws or my aunts who used to cook and um, when you carry the whole thing with you the it's in your memory but you try to uh, 
make your own food following those tests. So there is no recipe written anywhere, but you know the test. So you always look for the ingredients, and that's what you know. The people who are uh, migrated from one place to another, they also miss the same thing. So we are trying to collect that story, those stories from uh, different nationalities. Um, and we are inviting um, the participants and the Lumbung members to um, use it as a living room, like a shared space for everyone. There can be some cultural programs or performances or reciting poetry or you know, musical programs or anything. Or maybe simply storytelling. Or sitting and resting. Or, or sitting or resting, yeah. enjoying. You know, so we are creating some sitting spaces also, and uh, in the um, garden we are also creating some structures that um, uh, can form some like you know uh, bigger objects there. Uh, so that's how we are visualizing this part, and then there is more another part. We started actually watch um, watching the films. Um, that are related to uh, different um, political crises, especially which is related to wars and the partitions and the um, uh, famine or something like that. So we have um, uh, we have chosen um, many. We 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 pick up many film, but uh, from there we made uh, like uh, around twelve composition. Uh, with the 12 film and about we are planning to uh, make a mural with the seven film and this film if you see the f uh, the film actually the representing the time and the uh, human uh, it's more like a anthropological uh, perspective you know the if you see uh, the film about uh, famine uh, during the colonial period the you know the lifestyle, people's behave, and uh, attitude they uh, the filmmaker trying to uh, uh, replicate or you know, translate in the film, and and the uh, the other film also like you know from six uh, from uh, film from 70s, 60s, uh, 80s, and then a contemporary film. Uh, while we are working on it, we, we found uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, architectural change, a lot of costume change, people's behave and then actors or... Uh, uh, um, yeah, from the dress also dress you usually can say that this is from that period. Yeah. So that is also yeah. kind of giving us a kind, kind of narration about the uh, moral. Socio-political situation. Socio -political situation, the uh, issues. So we are creating this huge mural uh, that will be installed in Document uh, Halle also. They have a large um, wall, wall which is about High 145 um, feet by 42 feet. So um, our mural will be like More 145 like uh, yeah, uh, uh, in 30. 30, 30. Mm. Mm, the height will be 30 feet and then the, it will be 145 feet long. And so, we are also going to... Yeah, this is the indoor mural that we are preparing from here with the rickshaw and banner painters and the contemporary artist. So we are about like 20 artists all together working. And um, this, uh, and um, apart from this one, we are also collaborating with one graffiti group from Castle. Um, and creating some graffitis or murals um, outside the uh, like the uh, white cube space. Um, in the public spaces. Yeah, right? they are uh, uh, going to be in the public spaces. So we have planned to do two or three uh, um, graffitis there. Um, so this is another large project, and there is a you know our one of our um, old project that uh, we have been um, like traveling um, uh, across Bangladesh, like throughout Bangladesh um, to the countryside. Uh, they are all remote areas, 
uh, where the indigenous people are staying, ethnic, lots of ethnic groups. So, so far we have, um, we have done, like for the last 12 years, we have done about uh, six, seven um, projects, taking the artists eight, to eight, eight. eight projects altogether. Uh, bringing the artists there and uh, in most cases there is no electricity, no running water, no accommodation. So you have to find your own accommodation and eat the food from you know what the ethnic group is eating like you know, they are cooking. So um, there is no luxury at all. And sometimes we have to make our own toilets there like you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, uh, so of what we were planning that we should revisit all these places because usually after each project we used to do a huge feast with the villagers and there are always cultural programs like the theatres or some rituals that they have forgotten or they don't have money to uh, reconstruct practice. or practice. <coughs> so we tried to put money uh, for those projects so that you know they they have that kind of festive mood and the whole village is there mm. and you eat together you drink together they make their own food and or and drinks also um, so we um, kind of thought about revisit those places uh, the boys who were like five years six years old that time they have become like 17 years old guy uh, and the girls who were like five, six years old, they're, you know, they are no, either they are married, married and they are not there also. You know, some some of them have kids as well. And so, uh, I mean, uh, some of them have passed away. No? Yeah, so, yeah. Some of the old people have passed away. Mm. And during those days, the old project that we did, we did not think about record the, you know, the uh, recipes or the food or the cultural program. Or we try no, to record, we record the, but uh, um, since they didn't have electricity or we didn't have, we, there were so much limitations, you know. So it was hard to record properly. Uh, so this time we thought that because uh, most of the places have electricity now. Uh, so this time we are like well equipped. We are going with our whole team, big team. And we are traveling to those places again. Uh, uh, trying to uh, um, trying to uh, find out the uh, rituals or the um, cultural programs that there's a lot of uh, you know the performing uh, or a lot of cultural things we we found there because we didn't we didn't expect that uh, we'll get this kind of materials so that we were really surprised the every places has a kind of uh, you know cultural practice and the uh, it's their own thing uh, actually. It's, uh, and it, its neighbor came to the, uh, I think, I don't think that the, there is any archive, there is any documentation about those uh, events. So this time, yeah. We, we, have, we have tried to reconstruct uh, the whole thing, you know. The theatre maybe the they have done 12 years ago, the neighbor, uh, you know, the neighbor got chance to bring out the props that they have put them you know the night we watched 12 years ago so this time they are taking out all these things and we have reconstructed everything to repair the their props and everything so, um, so this is a kind of sad part actually, yeah sad part that uh, they and their that performance was so energetic and even this time uh, when they did the performance uh, for us that is also they come uh, with the very energetic uh, you know, uh, performance. Yeah. So this time what we are doing, we are um, making proper films on this uh, journey. Documentation. Uh, the documentation also, the photography and the videos. So we, um, in the Documenta Halle, there is a cinema room where we are showing. It will be uh, not like a show, it will be like um, a continuously uh, uh, projected uh, three films there and then uh, from our one year journey we are making another <coughs> film which will be like uh, focusing on the journey only and uh, we are uh, doing the proper uh, photographies this time 
uh, taking the you know the professional photographers and video uh, filmmakers um, cinematographers and all so um, we are also in one place uh, next to the film um, room we are installing uh, photographs of uh, uh, this revisit uh, pro programs and so far we have done like four uh, revisits and we have to do three more uh, in winter and then uh, we are going to edit the whole thing so this these are the projects we are doing and apart from these projects um, we are also doing um, uh, three books one you already know about Vritto uh, uh, book that is like 20, 20 years, years of Vritto and we are going to celebrate 20 years um, journey at Documenta in Kassel next year and uh, Triangle Astras also is um, you know, supporting one part of this book, but uh, Documenta is supporting the whole uh, uh, book. Uh, you know, so we're going to publish it uh, from Germany. Uh, that will be a proper book. And but this is a story book. This is not a kind of um, album of what we have done. Um, so, um, and then there will be two more books. One is uh, from this journey. And we have already, uh, uh, we have given a grant to one researcher, one young researcher, uh, to research on the whole journey. Um, so I am um, uh, closely working with uh, this uh, young uh, researcher and then we, the whole team is helping him as well. So we are not only documenting, uh, I mean researching on the project that we are doing, we are also collecting the recipes uh, from the ethnic communities, going door to door uh, in the villages uh, where they have uh, uh, their cooking, and they are most in most cases they are like accidental informations that we are gathering. Um, so there will be uh, one ebook on this thing because we don't have money to uh, make a proper publication for this book. And then um, there will be a computerized book. Yeah, so, there will be yeah. the digital, uh, digital printed, printed uh, book, uh, book uh, um, during documenta, uh, and that will be also uh, published by the Lumbung publication that uh, you know, we are going to R have House. Ruru at Ruru House, and then yeah, Ruru House publication mm. actually. And then there will be another book on the hundred days uh, recipe of our kitchen. So that will be done by the uh, team uh, that is working, the production team that is working with us. Production team and the curatorial team. There is like not the main curatorial team, there is uh, branches also. So one assistant curator and then the product, uh, people from the production team, they are going to collect the whole thing and that will be a kind of ebook that we are going to update uh, every day. And then finally, we are going to have a digital book uh, of that one. So this is the whole thing that we are engaged in for Document 15. I mean, I think um, any single one of those projects by themselves is, is kind of really interesting and fascinating and a lot of work. And I think uh, the fact that you're doing so many projects it just sounds like it's going to be amazing, <laughs> you know, and to bring to bring all of these things together. Yeah. Um, it's very and to school. <laughs> it's very ambitious. It's very ambitious, but um, as you say, Brito has been going for twenty years, so I'm sure you have the experience and the team and the support to be able to realise it. Um, I don't think I have. I think in terms of the time, I don't think I have any further questions. Um, I just think it's been great to hear you talk about what you'll be doing and I I'm hope I hope that I can get the documenta <laughs> to, to see it but it's good to know that they're publications so they're out of the way. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Can come? <laughs> no the, we uh, we're planning to oh, launch, have the like book, a, uh, yeah, launch the book in documenta and then after the launching uh, we'll come to the Padghar our project our and kitchen. we'll have a party.
Yeah, so we like are the Bengali food. <laughs> Bengali food. And we are respecting all the friends from all over the world yeah. and uh, to uh, make their, uh, you know, the uh, digit uh, during that time. Yeah, so mark the calendar. Make their calendar. <laughs> make their calendar. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're talking about the world. So you have to come as well. I would love to come. Um, you know, we're talking about the world as it is, <laughs> and I think uh, it's definitely time for a party. You know, by that point, it will definitely be time. <laughs> and when, so when yeah. is that? When, when does Documenta launch then? When does it open? Uh, starting from the 18th 18. of June. 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 June next year. Yeah. 18th of June. And hopefully we'll uh, do the, maybe third day or, uh, we haven't decided, but we need to talk and we will. We'll, want to see their their calendar the document how they are designing their uh, program so one of those days we begin we will uh, we'll have our day with yeah. today <laughs> well i'm looking forward to the brito party and um looking forward to seeing all of these projects realized the documenta and thank you very much for sharing them with me today and um for all of the people thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.